guys. Welcome to Applebee's. Come on in. Tickets. What's that? Lotto tickets? Need some lotto tickets. Lotto tickets. Some, uh, okay. And a uh, big gulp. A uh, big gulp. Uh, I'll, yep. give you, I'll give you a big gulp. One of those. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Yeah, Corona. Corona? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's over there in the cooler. All right. Let's, there you go. Go get the Corona. Okay. All right. Cool. Whoa, 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 Watch in the back, watch in the back. Alright, index! Yeah. Index! Just out of curiosity, man. Are you a cop? No. I mean, what the f are you doing firefighting with people? I was I'm trying to get to my car. <laughs> no, you went to your car, man. You came to your car, you got right here and you postured up uh, and you're all out here in the opening, ready for a <laughs> gunfight. Are you yeah. a gunfighter? No. You're gonna get yourself killed, man. Yeah. Like, yeah I, just I, I it, hope man. you guys are watching this and it's fun, man, and you guys are learning this and you're learning some cool things, but he's trying to get in a Firefight. If anything that we are teaching you here is how not to get in a firefight and how to defend yourselves. If you have a chance to get in your car, get in your car, man. Yeah, once I got to here. Did you get shot? Uh, I don't know this time whether I got shot. Okay. Sweet. All right. So each one of you, I want you to go home tonight if you got shot, and I want you to tell your wife you are dead. There's no coming back. You're gone. Say goodbye to your kids. Say goodbye to your friends. You're dead. Game over. You had the opportunity to walk away and you started a firefight. That what? Could have got innocent civilians killed when you could have gotten your car and those clowns could have left. The thing is, I couldn't identify them over there. So I you didn't, didn't have to identify them, yeah. man. Real yeah, world, it doesn't yeah, matter, yeah, Bubba. Yeah, it's like, okay. You drew your gun when you got out, as you should have, to move back to your car Come on. and you should have got in the car and called 911 okay that's what we do we don't posture yeah. up and get ready for so, firefights hey, listen listen guys so the reason why shannon's pa passionate about this and why i'm passionate about this is because we've been there and we've we've both lost a lot of buddies and we've been to a lot of funerals and we know too many times i've seen the look on somebody's widow's face at a funeral and their whole world is crashed around them let's be serious right now their whole world their whole life is turned upside down okay because of the loss of this person now this is overseas this is military operations it's a little bit different but what he's saying and what we've been trying to preach to you guys this weekend we're not trying to make you better at running into conflict with your pistol, all right? We're trying to get you to understand these situations so that you can better act appropriately, all right? The difference between a break contact and an engaged scenario. Break contact scenario is when material things is what's on the line and you have the ability to hand it off and walk away that's a break contact scenario. As far as I'm concerned, every time. 
if you have removed yourself from the, the proximity of threat like you did, don't go f***ing looking to be a hero. You and yours are over there. Get the f*** out of there. Don't get yourself killed. Call 911. Be prepared if the fight follows you and comes to you. But it's not your job to save everyone all the time, everywhere you go, because you have some training and you happen to be carrying a pistol. All right, that is a fallacy. Okay? We're just trying to get you guys to understand, hey, no one to go and no one to slow. To clarify, the reason why I was having to go, to go this way is because I knew that he, he was a actively shooting from here. So I didn't want it, to, it, it's not that I couldn't identify him, it's like, I was thinking that I was get going into the zone of fire here. And so that's why once I got here, I was like, oh, I see him and then I should have just booked it this way. All right, so let's continue. let's think about this this fatal funnel right of that door. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, I should have just booked it here, right? All right, now let's think about this fatal funnel of that door. And he walks outside. Open. It would have been different, dude, if you would have came over here and said, oh, f okay. you would have, you would have postured up and got here and started calling 911. Yeah. I was, I was out in the open. Like, like a, You're wide out in the open. You're having a gunfight. Yeah. 